President Obama's decision to withhold photos of Osama bin Laden's body has sparked a lot of debate. And joining us now to talk about it are New York Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner at Ground Zero and California Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter, who is on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Gentlemen, good morning to the both of you. Good morning, morning Chris. Uh, Congressman, we're going to start with you. You're a native New Yorker. I know you've done so much work with uh, victims' families and the families of the survivors right now. Why do you think the president was right not releasing the pictures? Well, I think at some point we have to trust the president and trust the, uh, the military leaders who say that, you know, these photos won't add anything. They're going to, you know, if this notion that we're going to end some kind of conspiratorial debate, I think we've learned in recent years that conspiracies have a life of their own. There are still crazies who stand outside this side who claim that President Bush knocked down the Twin Towers. So I don't think it does anything to, to end, end any kind of conspiracy. And I think more importantly, if it even endangers one military life, one intelligence officer overseas, then the president is right to make that decision. Hey, Congressman Hunter, I'm going to let you respond to that because I know you have a difference of opinion here. Hey, sure. For me, it's not about a, a, a big conspiracy theory. For me, it's about closure. It's about the American people, people that got struck that day, people that had friends and family like I'm sure Anthony did. It's about guys like me that did multiple tours overseas after 9-11 because of 9-11. I want to see the dead body. I, I want to see the uh, fruits of our labor, of my long absences, of my long hours overseas, of my sleepless nights, of Fallujah, of Afghanistan, of all the things that I've been through. That's why I want to see the body. It has nothing to do with conspiracy theories. Like Anthony said, people think that Elvis is still alive somewhere. I mean, you're always going to have those folks. This isn't a, about that to me. This is about closure for those families that were affected and for, you know, guys like me that were affected and, frankly, all the American people. Yeah, well, Congressman Hunter, I mean, you, you know, you enlisted in the Marines after 9-11. You served three tours, like you mentioned. And there is talk that releasing these pictures could uh, negatively impact uh, our soldiers and our troops overseas and, and sure, Americans, and both domestically and abroad. You don't think releasing the, the pictures puts anyone in more danger? No, I think we're already in as much danger as we're going to be in. It's not like the, uh, the uh, e extremist Muslim radicals are going to all of a sudden say, we aren't going to go suicide bombing today because they did not release those photos. We're always going to face it, and we have to change this perspective. We should not curb our First Amendment rights because of what some crazy people might do. They might go blow themselves up. Look, you, you have crazy people in Afghanistan, Yemen, I Iraq. You have people that do suicide bombings. They're already crazy. We shouldn't curb our First Amendment rights just because they're going to go blow themselves up. We've got to change this perspective and condemn them for what they're doing over something like photos, a cartoon, uh, things written about the, the uh, Prophet Muhammad. We need to change this perspective and go after them and condemn them for being crazy, not curb our First Amendment rights. Uh, uh, Congressman Weiner, I, I know your constituents. I'm sure you've spoken with a number of people this week. What are, they, what are their thoughts? Would they like to see the pictures, or are they okay with Osama bin Laden just being dead and taking the word? Well, I haven't run into any of my constituents who don't believe that Osama bin Laden is dead. The fact is that we trust our military and we trust the president who got this job done. You know, uh, Duncan Hunter, he's a great leader in Congress on military affairs, but I really do think we should listen to the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of State, and the President of the United States, who say, you know what, this adds unnecessarily. And there is no First Amendment right to see a gruesome picture that might inflame passions overseas. We've got DNA evidence. We've got the Navy SEALs who say he's dead. We've got al-Qaeda who says he's dead. Look. He's dead. Now we have to move on to make sure that we get the rest of the terrorists that are out there and we don't do anything to unnecessarily endanger our troops that are still out there on the front lines. Congressman Weiner, I know you talked about closure a few moments ago, and I've spoken with some families uh, this past week down at Ground Zero and a number of the workers uh, on site down there. Would you ever support any potential arrangement for family members if they did want to see pictures? Uh, would you ever support uh, something to that effect of allowing them to see these photos? You know, I'm going to leave this to the president, to the secretary of defense, to say what is right. I want to do everything we can to give closure to, to those families. If there's some way to accommodate uh, uh, their interest to be able to see without having a wide distribution, I would be open to that. The bottom line is here that the president and the members of our armed services deserve, and an intelligence community deserve an enormous amount of credit. With that credit goes a certain amount of respect for the decisions they're making going forward. I respect those decisions, and I think all Americans should. Congressman Hunter, Americans, are, are, they, are they safer now with bin Laden no, dead than they were before? No, I don't think so. I don't think we are any safer. I, I think what, what this did, this gave us a big symbolic victory. It's, uh, it's great to have it, but 
But like I said earlier, I don't think that there are not going to be suicide attacks now just because uh, bin Laden's dead. And I'll, I'll say this, one last thing about those, those photos. We see pictures, you can watch documentaries about 9-11 and see Americans throwing themselves out of those towers uh, so they don't get burned alive. So we're able to see those, but we're not able to see the guy that caused it. That, that just seems a little bit backwards to me, and I would support any, any kind of possibility for people that want closure, people that had family members killed on that day, friends or family, they should be able to see those photos. Gentlemen, I have to leave it there. We thank the both of you for joining us this morning. Congressman Anthony Weiner, who was at Ground Zero for us this morning, Congressman Duncan Hunter in Washington, D.C. Gentlemen, both, thank you. Thanks.